Mrs. Horn here <clears throat> with another story for you. Um, today I'm going to read to you the story, The Crayon Box That Talked. And this is a story that we did read together when we were at, at school together. We read this story. Um, and you did a really nice job listening to it. But it's such an important story that I thought we could um, listen to it again. Um, stories give us important things. They can teach us things. Stories that are nonfiction, that are true, give us information and they teach us things about different topics. Sometimes it's animals or weather. Um, fiction stories like this story usually will give us a message. Um, the author will teach us a lesson, a life lesson that helps us to do better in our life. And this story has that. So I'm gonna read it to you again. Um, it's kind of a short story and I hope you enjoy it. And then Mrs. Horn will um, also attach a couple of little activities that you can choose from if you would like to, to work on after the story. Okay, here we go, friends. The Crayon Box That Talked, and this is by Shane DeRolf, illustrated by Michael Letzig. The Crayon Box That Talked. box that talked by Shane DeRolf illustrated by Michael Letzig. While walking in a toy store the day before today, I overheard a crayon box with many things to say. I don't like red, said yellow, and green said, nor do I. And no one here likes orange, but no one knows just why. That sounds like arguing. We are a box of crayons that doesn't get along, said blue to all the others. Something here is wrong. Well, I bought that box of crayons and took it home with me. And laid out all the colors so all the crayons could see. They watched me as I colored with red and blue and green and black and white and orange and every color in between. They watched as green became the grass and blue became the sky. The yellow sun was shining bright on white clouds drifting by. Look at all those beautiful colors. Colors changing as they touched, becoming something new. They watched me as I colored. They watched till I was through. And when I finally finished, I began to walk away. And as I did, the crayon box had something more to say. I do like red, said yellow, and green said, so do I. And blue, you were terrific, so high up in the sky. We are a box of crayons, each one of us unique. But when we get together, the picture is complete. Let's read that last page one more time. We are a box of crayons, each one of us unique, but when we get together, the picture is complete. And that's the end of the crayon box that talked. So boys and girls, you just did a really nice job listening to the story. I want you to think about what the author's message is in this story. What do you think the lesson is for us to learn? Think about it for a minute. Yeah, 
Okay, good. Good thinking, everybody. Yes, the message is that we are all unique. Unique is a word that means special or different. We each have our own ideas. We each look our own way. We have our own look, our own tastes, the things that we like to do. We're unique. We're our special person. We're a special person. And because we have uniqueness and differences, we still are part of a group. We're part of a community. Our classroom, the crayons were part of a crayon box. You might be part of your town community. And being unique is important. Being unique is what makes that community so special. So the nice thing about this story is at first those crayons, they didn't like the differences with each other and they weren't getting along very well. But then they discovered those differences were beautiful and those differences were special and important. And when they noticed that about each other, they got along better, didn't they? And they became a very strong community that cared for each other. So the important thing is that uniqueness is special and always look for that and really respect that in others. Okay, friends, I've attached um, a little activity that you can do and it can help you maybe think about your own uniqueness, what makes you special, because you are all special and you are all part of our kindergarten classroom, our community, and I love you all. Okay, friends, um, I hope you enjoyed this story and have a wonderful day.